All right, folks, in this uh, segment, uh, we want to talk a little bit about the uh, types of hand pumps that are used for the DIY milking machine, also known as the closed uh, system milker. Now, really, there's a huge variety of pumps out there that, that you can use for this, and primarily the majority of them are, are basically used in the automotive industry to bleed brakes. So, uh, your local automotive store uh, will most likely carry this type of pump. But a lot of times when you're buying from the automotive store, they actually uh, come with a bunch, bunch of extra accessories that you probably don't need. But anyway, uh, the things to consider when you're buying a pump is, probably the most important thing is, is that your pump needs to have this gauge right here. It needs to have a gauge. And the purpose of that gauge is because you want to be able to monitor the amount of vacuum or, or suction that you're uh, that you are applying to your animal you don't want to put too much uh, suction on it so anyway the gauge gives you a way to monitor that so and like I say here's this is just a couple of examples this pump here is actually came from China uh, there's no there's no um, gauge to it so uh, you really don't have any way to monitor how much vacuum is being applied so anyway so the first rule of thumb your pump should have a gauge and the second thing is uh, you need to have a way to relieve the vacuum or the suction uh, so it's important to have a relief valve on it as well so the, uh, this particular one has a relief valve on the side that you just push so uh, if you want to take away the suction just push the valve and it releases it so Really, again, there's only two. There's two main things that you need to consider. One is the gauge uh, to monitor your vacuum, and the other one is the relief valve. Now, if you're interested, uh, we do have some pumps that we do recommend on our website DIYMilkingMachine.com. Uh, if you want to go there, you can kind of see what our recommendations are, and they're pretty readily available. Um, again, a lot of times you get them through Amazon.com or or for that matter, you may be able to pick some of those up in an automotive store and, uh, within your area. So anyway, uh, we hope you find this uh, video useful and uh, hope it answers you any questions that you may have. And if you have more questions, please uh, visit our website, DIYMilkingMachine.com, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have.